Hello there. This video is here to provide a guide on how to install and begin using the LandVisor software. Let's start off with what exactly LandVisor is and what it does. LandVisor is a local area network monitoring system that consists of two programs, the client and the server. The client application is installed on the user's system. Its primary purpose is reading and transmitting screenshots of the user's desktop to the server. The screenshots are transmitted to the server along the local area network connection. The server, in turn, receives and saves these screenshots to drive for future review. Therein lies the core functionality of the LandVisor system. So what's the point in all this? Let's say you hold an executive position with your company. LandVisor will allow you to review screenshots from computers set up in your office and see firsthand what your employees do throughout the workday or while you step away for a period of time. One particular example of LandVisor's efficiency was relayed to me by an executive at a construction company. LandVisor had helped him identify one of his employees who had been making unauthorized copies of expensive company software. Let's take another example. An internet cafe administrator can use the LandVisor software to get an overview of everything happening on all the computers throughout the cafe network, send any given user a text message, or review system settings for any given computer. Additionally, with the help of remote administration software, such as TeamViewer or RealVNC, you can help users resolve various problems with their systems without leaving your workstation. Likewise, a teacher running a computer training class can use the LandVisor software to see how far along their students are in their tasks, and even remotely reboot or shut down computers throughout the local network. Should the need arise, the teacher can also remotely help a student with a task. Now let's move on to installation. First, let's install the client. To do this, we'll need to launch the installer. Note that if you're using Windows 8, the installer is best launched as administrator. Accept the user agreement and click Next, then Next again. If you would like the application's icon to be visible in the system tray, make sure to enable this option. Furthermore, I would recommend allowing the application to add itself as an exception to Windows Firewall. Failing to do this can result in the client having trouble connecting to the server. Now click Install. Wait for the installation process to finish. The installer will inform you that the LandVisor client has been installed and launched successfully, which means that it is now ready to use. At this point, you should find an option at the bottom of the installer window that reads, Run installation of remote control software. This means that the LandVisor installation directory also houses a remote administration utility, in this case, TeamViewer. After you hit finish, you'll be greeted by a remote administration software installer. I'll explain the purpose behind this additional software in a separate video. Now that the client is installed, launch it. Hit Control shift f 12 to bring up a window that will display the name of the computer the client is installed on. This name will be needed later to establish a connection between the client and server. If the system at hand has Windows Firewall enabled, it's best to check its settings right away to avoid the firewall potentially blocking the LandVisor software. Open up the control panel. Head to the System and Security section and click Allow a Program through Windows Firewall. Find the LandVisor client in the list and make sure that it has access to all networks. Then click OK. Now let's install the LandVisor server application. Launch the installer once again, this time on the administrator's system. Accept the user agreement, hit Next, select Server, then hit Next again. Make sure you're installing for a current user, then hit Next. Verify the installation path and hit Next again. Allow for the creation of all shortcuts and hit Install. Wait for the installation process to finish. Once installed, launch LandVisor. We won't be installing the remote administration software at this time. I'll go into it in more detail in a separate video. At the end, hit Finish to exit the installer. 
Now let's move on to configuring LandVisor. Head to Client Configuration by hitting Clients. Here we see one active client with the IP address of 127.0.0.1. We'll go ahead and replace the IP address with the name of the computer we checked previously through the LandVisor client. To do this, hit Edit. Enter the remote computer's name. The alias field can either be left as automatically generated or filled with a custom name that will help identify the computer in question. So we'll go ahead and enter an alias, for instance, Helen's computer. Then hit Apply. Here you can also enable the Aliases option that will allow you to see aliases specified by the remote computers in the network themselves. Hit OK. Now hit Start to establish a connection with the client. You will see an image of the remote computer's desktop. This means that the LandVisor software is functioning correctly. You can double click the window to maximize it for a better view. Now we'll go ahead and enable recording, which will make the server save each new screenshot to the hard drive. Here you'll find the screenshot refresh rate. It's set to 5 seconds. Here you can see the timestamp for the latest screenshot. Hit the Screen Storage button to access all saved screenshots. In this video, I've gone over the essence of the LandVisor software, its applications, how to install it, and how to begin using it. In upcoming videos, I'll delve further into LandVisor settings, potential issues, and troubleshooting solutions. Thanks for watching.